I've used a periotome in dogs for canine deciduous tooth extraction for years for the vestibular and palatal, vestibular and lingual aspects of the maxillary and mandibular quadrants uh, consecutively. However, I've not used until recently the concave and convex luxating elevators and they're extremely effective at decreasing the time that we spend doing deciduous extractions. So I included a video here to give you an idea how those work. The instrumentation we choose for deciduous extractions plays a major role in the time spent on each individual tooth. This periotome is being placed between the bone and the tooth root, just following the normal tooth root contour, and that creates a space that will help with our mesial and distal elevation. So same thing on the lingual side. I'm going to place that between the tooth and the bone following the contour of the root. And then as we proceed to the mesial aspect, we're going to use a concave luxating elevator. And that's placed in the space between the bone and the tooth again. Uh, and we're using that in a torqued manner, torquing it toward us or torquing it caudal and then we're holding that for 15 seconds and putting slight increase in pressure on that luxator as we twist it and then on the distal aspect we're using a convex luxating elevator to do the same thing. Once we get that luxating elevator placed then we're going to torque it again with the root torque toward us and note that I'm putting some pressure with a shaft on that crown as well. Once that's done you should have significant mobility. If not, just repeat the process. But if the tooth is that mobile, you should be ready for your extraction forceps, mainly pull, a little torque, and you should be able to complete the extraction.